Hey everyone, it's Daniel, Brother Bear Barris. So that leads us to our final video, the client and server deployment. So what we'll do is we'll leave our deployment workbench open because we can click on monitoring and we'll be able to see our deployments as they go out. So let's get started. File, new virtual machine. This is gonna be our test server, so custom. Just like we did before, server 2025 in our dropdown. We're going to call this TS01 for test server. Next. Secure boot. Next. We'll leave this at 2 and 2048 or 2 gigs. Next. Nat. Next. Next. Recommended. Create a new virtual disk. We'll put 64 gigs here. Store as a single file. Next. Next. Down here, we'll go to customize hardware. On our CD, DVD, just uncheck connected power on. Our LAN adapter, we're going to go down here to LAN segment, lab, display, accelerate, and uncheck the automatically adjust, close, finish. We're going to right click, settings, go to our options tab, access control, encrypt. We're going to copy these and paste it on both of there. Hardware, add our TPM, finish, okay. We'll drag that under there. We're gonna power on the virtual machine, click in the screen. And then once that changes, we'll press F12 to boot to the network. There we go. And it's loading files, okay. We can press Control and Alt to close this pop-up. We are, and I'll come back when it's at the selection screen. Okay, and we're back and it's at our selection screen. So we're gonna choose our Windows Server 2025 standard. Click next. We're gonna give that a name of TS01. Next. Our applications, we're gonna only choose 7-zip and Notepad++. Next. And there we go, and it's started. And while that's deploying, we'll create our workstation or client deployment. Custom, next, next. We're gonna choose Windows 11 x64. Next, we'll call this workstation 001. If you're following along, we're right here. Next, it's gonna ask for our, T our TPM password. So we'll paste that there. Next, secure boot, next. I'm gonna choose one processor, two cores. It will be automatically four gigs of RAM. Next, NAT, next. Recommended, recommended. Create a new virtual disk, store as a single file. Next, next. Customize hardware. Under our CD, we're gonna uncheck connected power on. Okay. LAN adapter, lab, display. Uncheck this box, click close and finish. And I'm going to drag this underneath our TS01. Power on this virtual machine. Click on the screen. Wait for that to change like we did last time. Press F12 to boot from the network. There we go. And away we go. Control and Alt to get out of the window. Close the pop up. And there we go. And now we're gonna wait for the selection to come up. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And now we're gonna choose our Windows 11 Enterprise 24H2. Click Next. WS001, Next. We're gonna choose all of the software for this particular one. Okay, Next. And away we go. And, uh, I'm just gonna wait for the logon screens for both of these. Now you can monitor the deployments. So if you go to monitoring and then right click and refresh here, you can see TS01 is there. It's at percent complete and currently installing operating system. You can monitor the warnings and errors. Okay. And you can just right click and refresh every once in a while to see what's going on. And I'll come back when 
we're at the logon screens of these two machines. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. There we go. You can see we're reaching out to Microsoft Update for our updates here. Everything's going good. The server is installing a uh, .NET framework there. We can go here, and we can see we're good on errors and everything is going through. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, and you can see it's starting to install applications here. You see 7-Zip and Adobe. It's using Chocolati there. Okay, so that's good. This one's still on its pre-application installation updates. So I'll come back when it's ready. Okay, it looks like the server is installing its Visual C++ redistributable. Everything is going well. So there's our 64-bit uh, one that's installing. And uh, this one's here at the .NET run desktop runtime. We're looking good. No errors, no warnings so far. Knock on wood. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it looks like uh, the server is done. Let's go over here, refresh. Yep, completed 100%, no errors, no warnings. Okay, so we're good. And we'll wait for our uh, workstation to be done and we'll come back. Okay, and it looks like our workstation is done. Let's go to MDT01. We'll refresh and make sure everything is good. Zero errors, zero warnings. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, while we're here on MDT01, we're going to change the description of TS01 to test server and the description for workstation 01 to client. And we'll just paste that there. There we go. Exit. We've already seen that we have zero errors, zero warnings. We're going to click on Start. Go to Active Directory, Users and Computers. Click on Clients. You'll see our workstation. It's got the description client and what operating system it's running, Windows 11 Enterprise. We're going to go to Member Servers and TS01, Test Server, Windows Server 2025 Standard. We're good there. We're going to close Deployment Workbench. Okay. Uh, Let's go to TS01. We're going to control alt insert, click on other user. We're going to log in with our domain admin account. So first dot last, there we go. Give that a moment. Okay. Don't show this message again, manage. So manager properties do not start automatically. Let's close that. I'm gonna click numlock. I'm gonna right click run, control. I'm gonna view by large icons, programs and features. And we're just gonna verify our seven zip is there and our notepad plus plus is there. We're gonna close that, okay? I'm gonna right click start, go to terminal. I'm gonna double click here on the title bar, close that. And then I'm going to upgrade all of our applications because look, we're routed. We've got internet access. So win get. So I did write win. I'm gonna save that. There we go. Upgrade dash dash all. So that should be updated when you guys uh, get to it. Okay, there we go. Yes, it's gonna tell us what updates we have. So we have an Edge uh, Web View app installer, a UWP desktop runtime, and Windows Terminal. And those will all be currently the versions and then available. So it's gonna update those. Okay, on uh, and I'll come back to line uh, 254 after that. Uh, while that's doing that, I'll go down to 306 and do other user as well. Same thing, log in with your domain credentials. Okay, good. 
Perfect. Getting things ready for you. Okay. You can press Control and Alt to get out of that window. And we'll see how this is going. It's going good. Okay. You can see that. Come back here. Oh, look. There's our machine. You can click here. Press NumLock key. Right click run. Control. Same thing. View by large icons. Programs and features. Let's verify our software. Let it load up. We got 7-Zip. Adobe Acrobat Reader, Google Chrome. We've got our Visual C++ runtimes, our .NET 9.0, Mozilla Firefox, Notepad++, and VLC Media Player. We're going to close that. We're going to do the same thing we did last time on the server. Click here, double click up here. I'll save that. Winget. Upgrade, dash, dash, all. Okay, give that a moment. This is just something I like to do with all my new machines. And there we go. It's got an update for both VLC, Adobe Acrobat. So isn't that great? We got package managers that work. <laughs> okay. So I'll come back when those are both done. Okay, so on the t test server here, we're good. We're uh, going to go back up to line 252, and now we're going to right-click 256, install VMware tools. We can close this, okay? Okay. Close that. That's fine. Open File Explorer. And we'll click here and double click on VMware tools. We can close our file explorer there. Give it a moment. Next, typical, next, install. Okay, give that a moment. It'll come up with the uh, VMware Tools core service notification. Actually, we turned on uh, Do Not Disturb. We haven't had Do Not Disturb on, so we can click Finish here. And before we click anything else, let's set this up. There, enter. Good. We're going to minimize terminal, right click our desktop. We're going to click on display settings. I'm going to change this to 1280 by 800. Keep changes. Close that. And now we'll restart the machine. Okay. And we can also click here, settings, and click on our CD, remove. Okay, and while that's doing that, we'll go back down here to our workstation and it's installing its packages. So we'll go down to line 346 and we'll wait for that to be done. Our test server is good and I'll wait for that to come back up. Okay, and we're ready here, so let's go Workstation here, install VMware tools, close that. We know there's our pop-up, open file explorer. Click this PC, double click here. Close this window, same thing. There we go, next, typical, next, install. <laughs> Wait for our drivers to install. There we go. <laughs> F 
finish. Okay, we're going to minimize this. Okay, copy this. Paste. Enter. There we go. Now we're going to change our resolution. So, display settings. 1280 by 800. Keep changes. Good. And VMware tool setup. Yes. While that's doing that, this will be WS001. Save. And settings. Remove that. Okay. We can close this. And now we have a fully functional MDT lab with a workstation, a test server, MDT server, gateway, and our domain controller. Okay. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And I'll see you in the next videos. Have a good day, everyone.